welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In the previous video, we had covered the basics of the WebView Flutter plugin. We have added a WebView, loaded a web page into it, and added the back, forward, and the reload buttons. We have also seen how to execute JavaScript to get the user agent. So, this video is a continuation of using the WebView Flutter plugin, and let's see what it can do more. The link to the first video is there in the description. So let's don't waste time and jump into the coding part. So uh, let's add a menu. For that, I'm creating a menu options enum, which will have a show user agent, uh, list cookies, and third one is a uh, clear cookies, and the fourth one is add to cache, and the fifth one is clear cache. And the sixth one is a navigation delegate. For the menu, I am going to create a new class, sample menu, that will extend a stateless widget. And a final future WebView controller variable that will be passed along with the constructor of this class. So let's write the constructor and pass it. Now we are going to need uh, one more variable for managing cookies. So I am going to call it cookie manager. And let's write the build method that will return a future builder of type uh, webview controller webview controller okay and inside that we are going to supply the future so that will be the controller and the builder the builder will take the context and uh, an async snapshot so let's write the context and a sync snapshot which is of type webview controller let's call it controller okay now we need to create the menu button so return the proper menu button and let's apply the menu options there all right now we need to build the item so item builder We'll take the context and return the pop-up menu item that will take the menu options okay uh, there is some syntax issue there let's close that and uh, okay so that one is actually an array so we need to remove that It and close the brackets and supply the square brackets. All right. Okay, let's add the pop up menu item. So, we are going to give, uh, need six or seven menu items. So the first one is the show user agent, and the text will be show user agent, and, and that will be enabled when the controller. Or the snapshot has data. All right. So we are going to create other menu, menu items as well. So we are going to copy that. Okay. So we need six, six or seven. Okay. So the second one, let's change the text to list cookies. And the third one, clear cookies. And the fourth one, Add to cache. The next one is list cache. And the last one is clear cache. So we need one more. Copy that. And that one is for the navigation delegate. So let's change the ID value. And call that navigation delegate demo. So now we have all the menu items. All right. So we need to create the UI as well. So let's add this to the actions in the app bar and supply the controller dot future. Okay. So I'm going to remove the last 
icon button from the app bar. Okay, so the from the navigation controls, all right. So I'm going to write the on select and third. So that will take each menu options, and the first one is uh, show user agent. So this one is from the previous tutorial. So the link is there in the description. So I copied that into this class, the show user agent method. Okay, so we are going to go on to the uh, show user agent here. So let's duplicate that. And the second one is the list cookies. Third one is clear cookies. Fourth one is add to cache. The next one is I forgot to add that. Okay, list cache. Copy list cache. Next one is clear cache. Last one is a navigation delegate. All right. Okay. So now we have to write the click for each menu item. So let's write another list cookies. Okay. So that will have the web view controller object and the build context. Okay, so let me copy that. So I'm going to make this method async. So let's declare a new variable string cookies and get the cookies from the web view controller. So call evaluate JavaScript and document.cookie. So that will return the cookies. And we are going to show the cookies in a snack bar. So call snack bar, show snack bar with a new snack, snack bar object. And the content will be a column. And let's write the uh, alignment. So alignment will be end, exercise will be minimum, and the children. So, so that will be a text. I'm going to say cookies, and I'm going to write a new method get cookies to get the list of cookies. Okay, so let's write that. Get cookies and the get cookies will accept the string cookies as the parameter. And let's do a null check, or if it is empty, we are going to just retain an empty container. Okay, so return type is widget, and otherwise, we are going to declare a new list of string cookie list is equal to cookies dot. I'm going to split it using semicolon and let's iterate through it. So I'm going to call it cookie widgets and let's map those to each text and return text cookies cookie the past cookie variable. All right. So we'll have a list of text and return column. Let's copy that properties and supply the children as cookie widgets and convert that to a list. So we have the list of cookies now. Okay. So the next method will be uh, so we have the cookies now. So let's write the clear cookies method. So that will also take the controller object and the build context. So let's make it async. And uh, we are going to declare in boolean variable if you want to check if it uh, had cookies so you can use this variable like this so we are not going to use that uh, we are just going to show a message there are no cookies okay uh, so let's write a scaffold and show a snack bar that will take the text and the message all right 
so we have the clear cookies now okay so the next uh, so let's go to the uh, menu and replace the uh, function name with clear cookies and so the next thing we are going to do is to write the add to cache function so copy that and change that to add to cache okay and uh, and call await controller dot value javascript so we are going to open a caches file and call it test caches entry okay and let's pass in some uh, values for local storage test local storage equal to we are going to enter add a dummy entry okay so once that is done we are going to show another snap bar constant snap bar and the content is a text and we are going to say added a test entry to cache Okay. All right. So we have that cache now. Now we are going to list the cache. So that is also an asynchronous function, and it will take the similar parameters as other functions, and call await controller dot value JavaScript, and get the keys from the caches. And once we have all the keys, let's give the give each key name as cache keys and convert that to a string so JSON dot stringify cache keys and supply those cache keys. So we, get, we are going to create a string from the caches. So get the local storage value as well. So local storage should be in cards. Okay. Local storage and local storage. Okay, so we should get the dummy entry value. Okay. So once we once that is done. So we will have the caches string and let's call our snack bar js channel that I showed in the last video and post a message. So that should show a snack bar message. Okay. So you should be careful with the syntax here. Okay. So now we are going to write a method to clear the cache. So call void clear cache and that will also take the uh, similar parameters. So copy that and pass it there and call await controller dot clear cache and we are going to show a message in the snack bar cache cleared okay so let's uh, rename the menu options so call list cache and clear cache change the case as well list cache and clear cache the last one is a navigation delegate so now we have to write the navigation delegate right so whenever user clicks, uh, clicks a link in the web view, well, we are going to get control of it and uh, 
uh, let us prevent the navigation ok, the navigation. So, we are going to prevent uh, a link let us say youtube dot com from the when the user clicks a link that has youtube dot com in the web view alright. So, I am going to create a string content base 64 and or base 64 encode. So, for that we need a we need the convert package. So, let us add that and call base 64 encode with the UT, UTF 8 encoder and convert and I am going to paste a string. So, that is an HTML string that has two links google.com and youtube.com and we are going to load that URL in the web view when you click that menu alright. And what we are going to do is when the user clicks the link in that HTML, if it is youtube.com, we are going to prevent him. Okay. So let us write the navigation delegate property for the web view and pass in the navigation request. So if the we are going to check if the request URL has youtube.com. So if it starts with uh, www.google sorry youtube.com then we are going to prevent the user from navigating ok. So, for to prevent the navigation we need to call uh, navigation decision dot prevent. So, for all other URLs we are going to call navigation decision dot navigate ok ok. So, now we have to re reload the app and see. So let us click on show user agent, it should show. So cookies are also ok, clear cookies, ok, no cookies there. Let us click add to cache, ok. So we have some issue there, so I am going to fix that. So we have missed a port there and caches. Open, okay. So, reload the app. Let us try that again. Okay, add to cache. Okay, we have added a test entry to cache. Now, list cache. So, we have all those cache entries. Okay, now let us click on this cache again. That means, okay, okay now let us try again clear cache. So, caches are all cleared. Now, click list cache again. That is cleared. Ok. Now, let us click on navigation delegate. So, we have the HTML there. So, when you click on youtube.com it will not go. So, when you click youtube.com sorry google.com it is navigating. And let us try that again. Show user agent. List cookies. And let us clear the cookies and ok, add to cache. So, we add a data entry to cache, list the cache, ok, now clear the cache, ok, now click on navigation delegate, click on youtube.com, it is blocking the navigation. So, let us click on google.com, click back. So, that is also working, forward is also working. Ok, reload. So, perfect. So, that is all about uh, the basics of uh, WebView Flutter plugin. That is all for this tutorial. If you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.